This issue has long affected the Treasure Coast. Residents are now saying algae blooms have made its way to Palm Beach County. What do we want? Clean water! From the Treasure Coast to Palm Beach County, people impacted by the algae crisis demanding answers. Buy the land! Send it south! Thursday afternoon, more than 50 people and organizers with the Treasure Coast nonprofit Citizens for Clean Water marched down Clematis Street in downtown West Palm Beach. We want to see the water restored the way that naturally flowed. Um, we want to purchase land in the Everglades agricultural area. Most blame the Lake Okeechobee discharges. People chanting, holding signs describing the impacts of these releases. Some spelling out demands for lawmakers. Save the state before it's too late. The march started at Longboard Restaurant. They walked east on Clematis Street to Centennial Park. Made a brief stop at Clematis by night and their rally ending in front of Florida Crystal's West Palm Beach office. The sugar company often blamed for the toxic algae blooms. The company aware of the rally releasing this statement. It reads in part, the algae along Florida's coastal waterways is concerning to everyone. And it is understandable that many are anxious for answers. But farmers south of Lake Okeechobee are not the cause of the blooms. Danny Barrow, a longtime fisherman in the Lake Worth Lagoon, disagrees. He says algae blooms are no longer just a Treasure Coast issue. It's here now. Welcome to Palm Beach County, Green Blue Algae. Organizers with Citizens for Clean Water says this rally isn't their last stop. They plan on to put other events in the near future. Reporting in the newsroom, Jimmy Johnson, WPBF 25 News.